It's not okay to lose any life. No life should be born for the sole purpose of dying. I won't sacrifice the world to save Colette. I'm not giving up until I find a way for everyone to live. Couldn't have said it well, better myself. That was an amazingly corny speech. Congratulations. <laughs> Mythos? Oh, yep, Genus was right. Did you think I didn't notice what was going on? How pathetic. They had Pronema keep tabs on Kratos, since it seemed he was leaking information to Lloyd's group. Damn it! Yggdrasil! How the hell did you find out? What? That was a pretty amusing scheme you had going. Hard to believe those filthy renegades that were always getting in my way were actually led by you. If it weren't for my sister's wishes to spare your life, I'd kill you right now. <laughs> Stop it! What are you... What's going on? Mythos. So it's true. Yep, that flute was the one that Mythos gave him, and he got it from Drasu. What's true? That you shouldn't have trusted me? Good guess, Genus. Because I didn't trust you either. <sighs> Mythos saved me. Shut up. Mythos saved me. Mythos. How could you do that? You even risked your life to save. Mythos, why? Why are you doing this? How could you hurt Tabitha and Altessa? You got along so well with them. Tabitha. That doll looks so disturbing, my sister. I never could stand her. She's a failed vessel who couldn't accept my sister's soul. Just looking at her makes me sick. You little bastard! How dare you betray my best friend! Lloyd, stop! Please, you're both my friends! Lord Yggdrasil, your wounds are not yet healed. Please, leave this to the angels. No life should be born for the sole purpose of dying? What do you think those x are that you're using? Ah, good point. But it's not like Lloyd wanted it. Tabitha. Welcome. Please to stay, 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 stay. I'm so sorry, I failed to protect you. Oh, Lloyd. Don't talk. Don't push yourself. Altessa saved me. Please, Professor, please save him. I'm doing everything I can. Mythos, why? Why did he do this? Are you alright? With this, all of our efforts have been rendered useless. You plan to form the pack with the origin and use the eternal sword correct and then we would use the mana cannon to destroy that infernal tower allowing the great seed to sprout that was our plan upon learning of your existence from a design insider 
I was certain I would be able to force Kratos to participate. You, you didn't approve of Mythos' age of half-elves? That plan was the result of a twisted perception of Martell's last wish. It's not what she truly desired. What was Martell's last wish? She said she wanted to see a world free from discrimination. You shouldn't move. No, there's no time. I must evacuate the renegades before they are killed by Yadrasil. Wait, is Kratos really the only one who can release the origin seal? Yes, the seal will be released upon freeing the mana from his body. If he does that, he's likely to lose his life. Yes, the seal is based on his own life. Kratos' life? Are you saying we have to trade in his life in order to get the Eternal Sword? Lloyd, you won't be able to use the Eternal Sword. It does not require the power of a summoner. You must merely be acknowledged by origin. However, there is one thing you cannot do anything about. What do you mean? Your Drashil Mythos said that too. Only half-elves can wield it. That sword was created by origin for Mythos. What? Huh. Is Altessa going to be alright? I managed to administer first aid using the unicorn horn, but we should bring a doctor as soon as we can. Yeah, unlike us, Altessa isn't using the next fear. Healing arts won't be very effective. I know a good doctor. We call him from Fenanor when our chief was suffered a serious injury. Let's go there, Lloyd. Let's call the doctor for, Alte for Altessa. Okay, Fenanor, let's go, right? However, he was my friend. Mythos really was Yutrasil. Genus, you knew it, it, didn't you? Why didn't you say anything? Because I didn't want to believe it. He was my friend. He was so nice. Genus, don't let him trouble you. Don't let him lead you astray. Do you understand? I know, I know, but the tears just won't stop. And yeah, poor Mythos. He had a good friend, ended up being our worst enemy. Oh well. Good choice of friends there. Genus. Okay, now, however, before we go to Flanor, we're gonna fly through here. We're going to go to Triet. Talk to this guy. A giant worm-like monster appeared in the Triet Desert and was attacking travelers. If you're going through the desert, you should be careful. Okay. And then talk to this guy. There's once a priest of the Church of Martel who found a cursed sword emitting a terrible aura in the Triet ruins. He tried to cross the desert in order to seal it away, but he was attacked and eaten by a giant monster. It's a bit of a tall tale, though. So you need to get that in order to spark an event. So let's go spark that event. I can't remember where... Where is it again? Oh, I think it's, it's not back there. It's among one of the... Oh, I think it's over here. No. There it is, it's over here. Magic lends him. That was easy. No damage. We owned. Looks like another one of the devil's arms. Why is it here in Silveron? Huh. So we acquired Soul Eater. Lloyd, you need to remember that enemy's weakness. Oh man, you're making... Making me study again. 
So yeah, so that was easy. So now we just have one more, which we have to talk to Av B Bizon. So we'll do that like after Flanor. Or while we're going to Flanor. Okay. Hmm, where's Zelos? What's wrong with him? Why is he wandering off at a time like this? We don't have a choice. Let's go see the doctor first. Really? Why don't I talk to this guy? We're down to the last one. Yeah, it looks like we'll be able to save you soon. Thank you. With this, my lifelong dream will finally come true. I'll go on ahead to the Temple of Darkness, where the ritual to seal them will be performed. When you have obtained the last one, please come to the Temple of Darkness. Gotcha. Per se, I will be waiting for you as well. 